Politics is our family business. Saul Anousis, the immediate past chair of the um, Michigan Republican Party, is on the other end of our line with Coast to Coast Strategies. How are you, sir? Doing great, thank you. Um, who do you think will be the next chair of the Michigan Republican Party? As I understand it, and maybe I don't have this correct, but that, that uh, Ambassador Weiser has said he's only going to serve one term, and that's it. Is that true? Uh, that's r- yeah, that's right. He did. He said he was going to serve one term. And uh, Look, I, I, I think it's pretty early. I don't think anybody's even thinking about it at this stage of the game, but I would, I would suspect that uh, Governor Schneider will have a big role to play in who the next chairman is and, mm-hmm. and uh, look forward to working with him on that, on that issue. Somebody's thinking about it by now, I would think, aren't they? I mean, there's only a few months left. Well, you know, again, I think most most party activists are focused on November and, and on the fall election coming up, and I haven't heard any discussions yet. And again, traditionally, when your party has the governor, uh, the governor plays a fairly large role mm-hmm. with respect to recommending to the convention and the delegates who he'd like to see you know, as a chairman, because obviously they're going to have to work with him to politically help push the policies and the things that are necessary to help change Michigan. So, again, I, I expect uh, Governor Rick Schneider to really have a big voice in this. You say that as, as if it's a foregone conclusion. Do you think it is that uh, Governor Schneider will be the winner? Well, I've got to tell you, you know, if you take a look at what's happening as I travel around the state, you listen to the people out there, the frustration that is there, um, you know, after being, quote-unquote, blown away for eight years under Governor Granholm and the Democrats, I think the people of Michigan are ready for a change. I think they understand that we have not dealt with the structural reforms necessary to change Michigan. Uh, you know, we need a check and balances to the policies that Barack Obama and the Democrats nationally are pushing that are just going to kill taxpayers, small business. We want jobs. And the only way you're going to create jobs is to make this a job-friendly community. And right now the Democrats are you know, looking at more of the same, and they just cannot keep financing this with other people's money. I mean, eventually you run out of even other people's money when you try to redistribute the wealth, so to speak. Um, are, uh, are conservatives a little bit suspicious of Rick Snyder? And what I mean by that is, um, obviously, uh, conservatives are not going to vote for a Democrat, but uh, maybe Rick Snyder isn't exactly what they hoped for. Well, uh, I mean... Clearly, there were some candidates that were probably perceived to be more conservative than Rick Schneider uh, with respect to the general election. But, you know, Rick has a very solid program uh, that is based on conservative principles. Uh, I think that, you know, he's somebody who hasn't necessarily been a longtime uh, party activist, so uh, people don't really know uh, a lot of a, kind of a history from that perspective. But if you take a look, We lose our connection there with Saul News. Yeah, I, th- I think it's very solid. Uh, you do. Well, um, um, Senate Majority Leader Mike Bishop, candidate for Attorney General, is going to join us in a few minutes. But from what I'm reading this morning, he said that uh, Snyder's business tax proposal is, quote, problematic and needs to be better thought out. And, quote, having said that, he also says that uh, Snyder represents the best hope uh, for bringing new ideas and leadership. But there are, there are people who aren't comfortable with his tax ideas, true? Uh, I, yeah, I think that's true. And obviously, you know, Senator Bishop uh, can speak speak to the specifics that he's concerned about. But I, I do think that uh, what Rick Schneider has said is the Michigan business tax, which most people agree has not worked, has been a bad piece of legislation, needs to be changed, needs to be repealed. The real question is how do we address, you know, the changing and growing economy that we have? And I think that, you know, my guess is that Rick Schneider is going to believe that, you know, he has a general perspective of where he thinks we have to go. I think he'll put everything on the table. Uh, there will be broad discussions with Republican leaderships and, and the Democrats with respect to where we have to go on this. Uh, but I think there is a consensus that, that the Michigan business tax is bad and it has to be changed. Who do you think Rick Snyder will pick as a running mate? You know, I have no idea. I mean, a lot of good names have been mentioned. Uh, there might be some surprises. This is one of the you know, kind of news items that uh, governor has going or a gubernatorial candidate has going into a convention. So... Uh, I think that uh, anything is possible, but I, I think there's some good Republicans out there that he has a uh, choice on, and, and I'm looking forward to hearing who he wants to run with. Surely you have heard a couple names. Well, I've heard a lot of names, yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean they're, uh, you know, they're on the top of his list at this stage of the game. Uh, I have not talked to him specifically about this, so I, I really couldn't give you any more insight than just you know, guessing. Is there a name that would surprise us on, your, on the list? Um, 
I think there's a lot of names that potentially could surprise folks. And again, I, I, I don't know what the final list is. I don't know what the list that he's currently working off of. And I'm not sure whether he's already, you know, I'm assuming he may have already made his decision, but oh. the surprise is all part of the process. Okay, thank you very much. Solo News is Coast to Coast Strategies, and we'll be very involved, obviously, in the Michigan Republican Party convention coming this weekend. So we'll talk again at, toward the end of the week and certainly at the start of next week.